the topic of the webinar is uh, to discuss SCOE versus iSCSI and uh, what's the better choice uh, for, the, for the customer. So I'm, even though we are an iSCSI company, I have tried to be uh, completely unbiased and, uh, and uh, look at this as a higher level and see what it brings in for the customers. I've been in, in front of several uh, different technologies, fiber channel, InfiniBand, and uh, iSCSI, and um, now FCOE is coming up. So I have the broad spectrum of all of these technologies, so I can give you my assessment of uh, um, the differences or, or what the differences are and uh, what, uh, what's best suited for you. So uh, in order to uh, do that, uh, let me just go over the, where the storage uh, evolution uh, has been going on. Uh, where the industry started, um, the ba there were basically, if you look at the servers, there was a network for the network connectivity between the servers. They also had direct attached storage connected to them. And the direct attached storage basically was a SCSI physical connection to the server with a SCSI protocol running over that SCSI link. And you have the DAS or direct attached storage for each server. The problem with the DAS was, as you see on the right hand side, the free pool of storage that if one of the storage had extra space, he could not share it with the other servers. So that was the main issue with the DAS. So what the industry did said, OK, we've got networking, and that's going along. And uh, when we add NAS, uh, which is network attached storage, uh, which basically you can centralize your storage, and it is shareable. So you can uh, share that between the different servers. So that kind of solved that um, the problem of not being able to share your storage with uh, with the different servers. The um, issue or the drawback uh, in a uh, NAS environment was that when you're dealing with a NAS, you're dealing with a file level transfer. It's not a block level transfer. So, um, so basically, there is a one layer of the software between your storage and your server. So that caused the, uh, that the, the basically uh, it would, uh, the NAS uh, performance was slower. And uh, a lot of applications did not support uh, NAS. Um, it has uh, evolved. Uh, applications have evolved. And a lot of them right now, they do support NAS. But still the fact that you have a file level uh, software in between your storage and the server made the NAS slower. So the next step that they did brought in the fiber channel. So fiber channel, in a, what it, it does have uh, the centralized uh, storage. So it solved that problem that you can share the storage between the multiple servers. It also has the uh, capability of doing a block level transfer, which uh, solved the performance problem. And uh, but what it brought with it was uh, everything was almost new. So fiber channel switches were new. Fiber channel HBAs required, always required a fiber channel HBA to install in your server. Uh, other, to to connect to your storage. Cabling was new, the physical, basically. And the, uh, in a fiber channel, what you were running, you have a physical cable, which was fiber channel. And the protocol was also fiber channel. So, um, and the storage was also fiber channel. So what, what that translated to was higher cost. So it, because of just everything was new, the companies could uh, demand higher cost. But it did brought in the performance and the block level transfer that uh, the 
users were looking for. So I'm not going to put down fiber channel, and I believe that it's a good technology and it's going to stay there for a long time. But because of this higher cost, it eliminated a lot of companies uh, from uh, being able to afford the SAN because it's just they just could not afford it. So the next thing the industry did was, was brought in uh, iSCSI. So the difference in iSCSI is, if you look at it, the physical interface for iSCSI and the networking is the same. You're running over Ethernet, and uh, the protocol that you run over Ethernet was SCSI. So you were getting the block level transfer. You had the centralized storage. And the switches, they were standard switches that you use for the networking. So because of the commonality between the networking infrastructure and the iSCSI infrastructure, it forced the price of the switches to go much lower than the fiber channel. 